of Davidson. The ball tipped to the air. And tip is one out by Fernandes going quickly to the basket. And he's able to lay it home. And UMass gets the first strike thanks to the hustle by Noah Fernandes. And a career high 25 points against fellow North Carolina opponent UNCG earlier this year. Now Davidson will run their first offensive set with Brykovich trying to post up on Stedman. This should be an interesting battle tonight. And a nice reverse lay-in by Brykovich puts the Cats on the board all square at two. Stedman making his second straight start after he was off the bench from the beginning of the season through Saturday's game against Duquesne when he drew his first start as a member of the Minutemen. Now Buttrick fakes the three, steps in. Mid-range jumper true for Buttrick. Buttrick the forward Nittany line. Puts the Minutemen back on top by a pair. Now it's Menenga, hands off to Lee. A nice pass inside, but a rejection from underneath by Budrick. Get it done on both ends. Shut off a nice mid-range jumper and then rejected Menenga from underneath. It'll remain Davidson basketball. Minute and four seconds in. Lee to trigger the inbound. Finds Lawyer. And they go around the arc to Menenga at the top for Lee. Straight on three, splashes down. Hanjun Lee, a 42% three-point shooter. We're going to see a lot of those tonight. These are two of the best teams in the country shooting from long range, both in the top five nationally. And Hanjun Lee is the first one to make it from long range. Rich Kelly almost missed his cut, was able to pick up the basketball at the top. Now to Fernandes with 12 to shoot. Davidson on top for the first time tonight after that tray by Lee. Here's Fernandes attacking the basket. Floater off the glass. No, Lee the rebound. First miss for the Minutemen. Now here's Lee trying to drive to the basket. Couldn't get the finish. And underneath, a foul called on Davidson. A little bit UMass basketball as Hudson Lee picks up the game's first foul. So Rich Kelly will take it up the floor. This is his third Division I team, started his career at Quinnipiac, then moved over to Boston College, and now is with UMass. Buttrick driving on Menenga, kicks it out for Rich Kelly, fakes the three. Now he attacks the hoop and is able to float it in over the reach of Michael Jones to put UMass back on top. Rich Kelly on the board with his first deuce. Over on the right wing, it's Michael Jones underneath. Nice cut underneath for Hunjun Lee. Lee with five. Game high in the early stages. And Davidson toggles back on top, 7-6. Here's Buttrick, he'll fire a three, in and out. And the rebound goes to Brykovich. Quickly ahead to Lawyer. Lawyer looking to go all the way to the basket. Couldn't get it in off the glass. Buttrick the board for UMass. Minutemen pushing the pace. Kelly, Fernandes. Fakes the three, he's being watched by Lawyer. Now to Buttrick, over on the left side for Kelly. That's Rich Kelly, now it's over to Stedman, back to Kelly, and in the right corner for Weeks. Weeks trying to drive on Lee, kicks it out. Baseline jumper by Stedman is short, and Lee picks up the loose ball. Here's Lawyer, into the front court. Now Menenga. Over on the way, midway through the shot clock. Trying to find a cutting player, goes to Lee. Now in the low post for Brykovich. Lee, three from the left side, too strong. And Buttrick the board for the Minutemen. Second rebound for the former Nittany line. Here's Rich Kelly trying to weave through traffic. Kicks it out for a three by Weeks. He splashes it down from the corner. UMass with their first tray. They're back in front, 9-7. As we approach the 16 minute mark. Good pace of this one so far, as Jones has it at the top for Davidson. Now Brykovich trying to get through Stedman. Brykovich, nice post move, lays it off the glass and in. Brykovich with four, all square at nine. Timeout the next dead ball. Now it's Stedman, trying to post up on Brykovich. Kicks it out for Buttrick, baseline bounce pass to Stedman. Stedman. 
Kicks it out for Kelly, has it tipped away. Jones able to, oh, could even four points apiece. And UMass has had a field goal from four different players at the outset, led by the three from T.J. Weeks, Jr. Here's Fernandes from right of the foul line. He's able to power one through. He's got four points. Minutemen back on top. Huffman checking into the game out of the timeout as Michael Jones has it on the right wing. Also in for Davidson is Desmond Watson. Here's Huffman as he was being watched by Weeks. Now Watson at the top after the handoff from Menenga. Runner no good from Jones. And rebound to the Minutemen. This is Weeks. Same starting five out there for UMass. On the baseline, it's Stedman. A little break out of the pressure. Now he posts up on Brykovich. Stedman, hook shot, in and out. An angle of the rebound for Davidson. Davidson with the basketball, down by two. Here's Huffman. Randy's watching him on the right wing. Watson, baseline, nice move to spin out of it. A jam with two hands. By Menenga. Menenga left his defender in the dust to tie the score for the Wildcats. Each team will have a player checking in at the next dead ball. This by Greg Jones for UMass and Bochi Yeadham for Davidson. Long range three from Kelly. How's that for an answer? Rich Kelly from the right lane, a long distance three. And UMass up 14 11, and an errant pass in the other direction actually went off of a minute man. So it'll stay with Davidson. No, Greg Jones will check into the game or replace Michael Stedman, who did not score a point through the first close to six minutes. And Nelson Bochi Eatum enters the game for Sam Menenga. Just had that slam dunk for the Cats. Now Brykovich over to Jones. He's watched by Weeks, over to Brykovich, fakes the three on the left side. He's watched by Buttrick, midway through the shot clock. At the top for Watson. Foul line extended left, Bochi Edom. Right wing to Huffman, uses a screen for Bochi Edom. Huffman now spins around, tries to fire one late in the shot clock. It's blocked, and a shot clock violation. Good defensive set there for the Minutemen with a three-point lead. And that's Davidson. Unable to generate any offense in those 30 seconds. So here's UMass with a three-point lead and the basketball. Rich Kelly. Cross court to Buttrick. Now Weeks from the corner. He's fouled on the three. Guilty party is Desmond Watson. And Coach McKillop with a few words from Grant Huffman. After that foul was called on his teammate Watson. And now Weeks will go to the line to shoot three. He hit a three earlier. Mass started two for three from long range. His first shot is good for Weeks. Weeks is a 68% foul shooter entering the game. Rich Kelly will take a seat. As Javon Garcia will enter the game. And as you can see, he's wearing a mask. He did not play in the last two games. As he had to sit out due to COVID. He's wearing a mask as a precaution tonight. Second shot rims home for weeks. And last of his three coming up. Good at all three shots, so UMass. Now at a 6-0 run after the score was tied at 11. Here's Huffman for the Cats. Cross court for Watson, pass just out of his reach, stolen by Fernandes, looking to go coast to coast. Fernandes through the trees, had it partially blocked by Brykovich and out of bounds. Foster Lawyer and Hunjun Lee will re-enter the game for the Cats, replace Huffman and Jones. Minutemen with a six point lead and the basketball. As Garcia will trigger the inbound to Buttrick. At the top for Fernandes, he's watched by Lawyer. Right wing Buttrick fakes the three, steps to the left and fires the three, in and out. Offensive rebound for the Minutemen, they can reset. Goes to Fernandes on top of the Wildcat logo at center court. Cross court pass, Weeks is able to haul it in. Now Weeks looking to go to the rim, tip to Jones. Greg Jones, hook shot over Bochy, eat him no good. And lead the rebound for Davidson. 
Jansen hasn't scored a basket. A little over 90 seconds. Bochi Edom at the top. Now Brykovic at the top for Lee. Straight on three. Can't connect. And it remains a lid on that bucket for the Cats. Here's Weeks. Corner three from the right side. He likes that side. That's been a spot so far. Another triple. 9 nothing run. The other basket coming off of a triple by Rich Kelly. Now the Cats with the basketball down by nine. Across the center court line was Lawyer. Ball was tipped away. Lee is able to save it on the sideline. It's being watched by Garcia. Now at the top, Bochi Edom to Lawyer. Lawyer faking the three. Right wing to Menango who just checked back in. Over to Lee. Lee has that shot rejected by Garcia. And here come the Minutemen. Matt McCall's group off to a tremendous start here on the road. Weeks with that corner three once again from the right side. Leave him open there. He's going to fire, and he has made the Cats pay. 12-point advantage, 12 points for Weeks. Now Watson at the foul line, left side Menenga. Butcher keeping an eye on him. Now he gets double team, kicks it out. Watson, corner three for the answer. He can't, it's too short. And Weeks the rebound for the Minutemen. Minutemen went off to a hot start in their previous game against Duquesne, only to lose 78-74 back at home on Saturday. We'll hope to put the pedal to the metal here against the Cats. As Fernandes has it at the top, swings it over to Buttrick. Buttrick going all the way to the basket, lost the handle, and loose ball to Watson. Cats have it scored in over three minutes. And Weeks thought he got the steal. Instead, it is the first foul on UMass, which goes to Weeks. Minutemen are ready to erupt, and you can hear the exasperated sigh after that foul was called. Bochi Edom will take a seat. And back into the game. Or I should say, into the game for the first time is David Christensen. Has the ball now. At the top for Lawyer, he fakes the three. To his left for Lee. Wildcats look to cut into this 12-point deficit. Now the final 12 to shoot. Lawyer, three from the left side, and he splashes it down. Foster Lawyer on the board with his first three. UMass lead now back to single digits. Here's Fernandes, between the circles. He keeps an eye on him. Left-handed dribble for Fernandes. Over to Weeks. Weeks will try from the left wing. And going to get a spot, but the rebound is to Jones. Jones couldn't put it back in. Ball is loose off of UMass. It'll go back to Davidson. You know, a bit of a heat check there from TJ Weeks. He had made all of his threes from the right corner spot. And his attempt from the left wing falling short. And the game for UMass is Colton Mitchell. So he'll replace T.J. Weeks Jr. Has a game-high 12 points. Mitchell, a 6'3 junior from Fort Myers. Coach Eaton back in for Davidson. He replaces David Christensen, who had a brief spell out there on the court. And a foul at the top of the basket. Mitchell. So Colton Mitchell, not even five seconds. Into his first game action, commits a foul, second for UMass. Both teams with two fouls apiece, as Lee. Throw the inbound to Medanga, now Bochi Yedem, and a foul off the ball. And they gave it to Javon Garcia. First for him, third for UMass. Just past the midway mark of the First half, inbound to Menanga. Hands off to Lee. Back to Menanga, down to Lee. Lee, underneath to Menanga, just able to keep it in. They thought he was out of bounds. Long three on the way is good. Matt McCall, not too happy because he thought Menanga stepped on the baseline and Davidson takes advantage on the three by Michael Jones. Down to a six point deficit. Wildcats have scored six straight after a 12-0 run by UMass. Now here's Greg Jones at the top. 
Right block, Stedman almost lost the handle, picks it back up. Stedman posting up with seven to shoot. Hook shot with the left hand, no. Ochi eat him the board. Now fans getting a little bit loud, hoping that that three can trigger a run for the Cats. Here's Michael Jones who just hit that three, almost lost the handle. He gets called for, or I should say he draws a foul underneath. And that is the second foul on Javon Garcia in less than a minute. So Garcia will take a seat, and Noah Fernandes back in the game. Fourth foul on UMass. Lee tosses it in for Menenga. Takes a dribble. Hands it off at the top for Lawyer. He'll fire a three. Can't make the three. Step in the board for UMass. Ahead to Fernandes. And he stops. Top of the key. Now uses a screen from Greg Jones, trying to drive all the way to the hoop. Heels it back out of the perimeter to Jones. Right wing Mitchell. Over for Rich Kelly. Kelly rolls the ball off his foot, picks it back up with 10 to shoot. Kelly looking to attack Jones, hands off to Mitchell. At the top for Greg Jones, fakes the three, loses the handle, Menenga takes it away. Here come the Cats, Lawyer trying to push the pace, Lawyer spinning around, kicks it out for a lead three from the top, he drains it. Of the Minutemen and their head coach, Matt McCall, one of those threes during that run for Davidson coming off what appeared to be Menenga stepping on the baseline while he saved the ball. And the officials ruling that his feet were in the air to allow Jones to hit that three. Coach McCall was quite animated, but not animated enough to the point where they would call a technical on him. So we approach the eight minute mark. UMass trying to break this nine nothing Davidson run late in the shot clock. It's Buttrick now to Rich Kelly. Creates his own shot from the top of the key and drains a long three. Second long distance three for Rich Kelly to quiet the Cats. And the Minutemen back up by six. Now here's Lawyer for the answer from the left side. That's short. Buttrick tips out the rebound to Fernandes, looking to push the pace. Fernandes hands it off to Rich Kelly. Now over to Buttrick. Right wing three on the way. Wide left. And Stedman calls over the back. A loose foul, ball foul there on Stedman. His first foul. And the fifth on UMass. Seven and a half minutes to play here in our opening half. As the Cats will have possession down by six. Michael Jones will exit. Desmond Watson back in the game for Davidson. Here's Lee on the right side. He's got a team high eight. And watched by the game's leading scorer, TJ Weeks, who has 12. Now Watson faking a three from the left corner. Over to Brykovich, hands off for Lee. Lee, mid-range jumper, splashes through. Hunjun Lee, first cat in double digits with 10. UMass lead is down to one. Or I should say, down to four. My apologies, 26-22. Hook shot from Stedman, in and out. Lee with the rebound. Now Watson from the foul line. And finds its way through. That's been Watson with his first pair. Now the UMass lead is down to two. 26-24, approaching six and a half minutes to play in our first half. Fernandes, cross court for Rich Kelly, trying to drive through traffic at the top for Buttrick, fakes the three, stops the foul line, back out to Rich Kelly. Almost lost the ball and picks it back up. Eight to shoot, Kelly. Now on the right side, Buttrick, as the shot clock expires, no. Looks like it had its way in, and a lucky break there for the Minutemen as Lee couldn't haul in the rebound. So after a tough possession in which UMass almost ran out the whole shot clock, they're able to keep the ball as Lee had the butterfingers underneath. Twenty six twenty four UMass with the lead Fernandes from the foul line. No and Brykovich the rebound for Davidson. Davidson with a chance to tie or take the lead with less than six minutes to play in our opening half. Now Lee in the left wing being watched by Weeks trying to direct traffic into the corner. Watson a three. That's too strong and Buttrick the rebound. 
Nash remains on top as Rich Kelly takes it on the front court. Over to Fernandes. Back to Kelly. At the top, Fernandes. It's being watched by Menang. Over to Budrick. And he takes too many steps. Called for the traveling violation. Well, that'll make it Davidson basketball. Rare turnover. This game has been mostly cleanly played so far. On the left side is Lee. Over to Brykovich on the left block. Spins around Butcher. Reverse lane is good. He's tough to defend. That's the second time we've seen Brykovich with the reverse lane to tie the score. Now Fernandes for UMass. Boyer keeps an eye on him. Over to Buttrick, all the long left side, fakes the three, takes it back out Fernandes, long distance from straight on. And Fernandes able to power through. UMass back on top, 29-26. Fernandes with seven points for the Minutemen. Here's Lee at the foul line, kicks it out. Menanga looking to answer for the UMass bet, she can't. And Buttrick the board. Buttrick's been busy on the glass so far. Already his fifth rebound also has a pair of blocks and two points. On the baseline, it's Kelly, an offensive foul on Rich Kelly. Kelly's first, sixth on the Minutemen. Have yet to see C.J. Kelly out there for UMass. Kelly has drawn 10 starts this season. Was averaging 15.2 points per game in his last nine games, but no sign of him in this one so far. A UMass team that has battled some COVID and injury issues this season. That could be something to keep an eye on as this game progresses. Davidson with the basketball, down by three. On the right wing, Watson. At the top, Rykovic. Now Bochi Edom. In the game for UMass is DeAndre Dominguez. Here's Bochi Edom posting up on Dominguez. Now to Huffman with five to shoot. At the top, Watson. Wildcats had to give something off in a hurry. Watson will go to the basket. Couldn't get the roll off the glass. And the board to Buttrick once again. Make it six rebounds for the six foot eight grad transfer from Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Takes it underneath. Has it rejected by Brykovich. And the rebound of the Cats. Rykovich with the first block for Davidson. After Buttrick had done the same thing twice to the Cats at the other end. Here's Michael Jones on the right wing. Over to Brykovich who just had that big rejection. Now he attacks Buttrick. Reverse lay in from that side is no good. And here come the Minutemen with Fernandes. Well, the timeout of the next dead ball. Fernandes into the corner. Three for Weeks. That time too strong. That had been his spot earlier in the game for Weeks, who has a game-high 12. Now Huffman at the top for Brykovic. Underneath, that was a nice look up. Back to action, Davidson with the basketball, shot clock at 16. Inbound to Huffman, he's watched by Fernandes. At the top for Jones. Now Lee. Over to Huffman on the right wing with eight to shoot. Now two to shoot, Lee a desperation three off the glass, no. And the Minutemen will take it the other way. They've played very well defensively so far. And we have a foul on UMass. Fernandes a little bit out of control as the charge was drawn by Huffman. Fernandes with his first foul, and that is the seventh on UMass. And the inbound will go to Huffman. Huffman, Bochi, Edom, Lee, Menenga, and Jones on the floor for Davidson. Fernandes tried to reach in. Jones fires from the right wing and ties up the ball game. Three-pointer for Michael Jones, who has six. Pair of threes for him. And it's even at 29. Now Fernandes will take it up the floor for the Minutemen. Maroon shirts. Blue Dominguez, Butchuk who has the ball. Rich Kelly. 
and TJ Weeks. Now it's Fernandes on the right side with 12 to shoot. Fernandes stutter step. Tried to pass underneath. Nobody was there except for Menenga. Cats with a chance to reclaim the lead after UMass led by as many as 12. This is Lee attacking Weeks. All the way to the basket rejected by Dominguez. Ball is tipped. Back to Fernandes. Quickly ahead to Rich Kelly. Whips it back to Fernandes. Fakes the three. Now we're to Buttrick. All alone in the corner. And give him the three. Trent Buttrick. Corner three. UMass deadly from deep. They've got seven triples so far. Back up on top. 32 to 29. Five for Buttrick. Now Michael Jones on the right side, underneath for Lee, puts it home from the right side and draws the foul. He'll go to the line for a three-point play to try and tie the ball game. It'll be DeAndre Dominguez who commits his first foul, eighth on the Minutemen. So far the whistle has not been too kind to the visitors from Amherst. Eight fouls, just two for the hometown Wildcats. Now Lee from the free throw line and in and out. That is a rare miss for Hunjun Lee, an 80% foul shooter. So UMass remains on top as Rich Kelly will take it across center court. Over to Buttrick. At the top, back to Rich Kelly. Cross court for Fernandes. Now Buttrick on the baseline with 10 to shoot. Posting up on Brykovich, loses the handle, picks it back up, picks out the top for Kelly. Weeks from the right side for three, that rims out. And a rebound of the Cats. Another chance to retake the lead. UMass has had the lead for most of this first half. At the top is Lee, over to the left side. Foster Lawyer from deep, that rolls out. Buttrick the rebound. Just a two second difference between the game and shot clock. Rich Kelly will stop past the center line and listen for instructions from head coach Matt McCall. UMass content with salting away as much this clock before they start running on their offense. And they'll do so with 12 left to play. Fernandes off the bounce pass. Screen from Buttrick. Fernandes almost slipped. Fires up a long three. It's wide right. And they have to stop play. They're doing a terrific job calling the Minutemen. Now UMass with one final shot here after the turnover. Ricky Weeks, off, or TJ Weeks off for the final 10 minutes or so for the Minutemen. So we're underway with the Wildcats with the possession arrow and the basketball. Now it switches over after this opening possession of the second half with Michael Jones underneath to Brykovich looking to post up on Stedman. Brykovich with a hook shot, splashes through and Davidson back on top. Lead for Davidson in quite a while. The 1849 mark of the first half. Cats only had the lead for two minutes and 20 seconds in the opening half. That doesn't last long here either. Rich Kelly with the three at the other end from the left side. Kelly with 11, second UMass player in double digits. As Weeks has 12. Now Hunjun Lee with the answer. And these teams on fire to start things off for the first 45 seconds. Lee answering with the three. Game high 15 for the South Korean. Now Fernandes from the foul line. In and out. Lee couldn't grab the rebound. And it'll stay, or I should say, it'll go back to Davidson. Weeks couldn't handle it either. So Davidson with the lead and the basketball. His lawyer takes it across center court. Very quiet first half for him, which is three points. Brykovich, straight on three. That finds its way through. A pair of threes in the early on. Set for the Cats in the second half. Brykovich now has 11. Second Wildcat player with at least 10. Here's Fernandes at the top. Davidson also with their largest lead in the game at four. Buttrick being watched by Menanga. Now over to Rich Kelly. Menanga. Switch over to him, over to Fernandes, trying to weave through traffic and a nice finger roll on the runner for Fernandes. Nine points for the junior from Mattapoisett, Massachusetts. Here's Lawyer, averages 16 points a game. Again, just has three in this one. At the top for Lee from Menanga. Mid-range jumper off the back iron. Stedman the rebound for the Minutemen. 
Chance to tie or take the lead for UMass. Good pace at the start of this second half. Now Rich Kelly over to Fernandes. Trying to use a screen from Stedman. Fernandes spots up from the foul line and connects. Fernandes with 11. And some good contributions throughout the starting lineup tonight are the Minutemen. Three players with at least 11 points. Fernandes with 11, Kelly with 11, and Weeks with 12. And again, no sign of C.J. Kelly and a dunk underneath. Sam Manega, a great feed from Foster Lawyer as Manega throws it down for the second time. Breaks the tie, Davidson on top by two. Manega put four points off a pair of dunks. Now Stedman trying to answer, and that can't rattle its way in. He couldn't get it over Brykovic. Here's Lawyer. Now Brykovic all alone for three, and he you know, leave him open. He's going to make that shot. Brykovic with the second three. Five-point lead for the Cats as these fans start to get loud inside Belk Arena. Fernandes trying to find the answer. Lawyer keeps an eye on him, hands off to Rich Kelly. Kelly attacking on Michael Jones, loses the basketball taken by Lawyer. Now Lawyer trying to get it past Fernandes, ball loose on the floor, Lawyer able to dig it out. Here's Manega going right to the basket, gets the bucket to fall through, and he's fouled, he'll go to the line for a three-point play. Now whatever adjustments the coaching staff called for at halftime have worked for the Cats. And UMass is going to call a timeout. And Lefty is unable to put a three rebound to Brykovic and he puts it home. Not what you wanted for UMass is essentially becomes a four point play and Rich Kelly turns it right over. Michael Jones disturbing the inbound from Buttrick. And this is gut check time for the Minutemen. It might, the wheels might fall off for the team in Maroon as the Cats have jumped out to a nine point lead. A four point possession, and now a chance to add even more after that turnover off the inbound. Here's Lee off the inbound. At the top, Brykovic. Now Bochi Edom. Lee for three. Book it. 12 point lead for the Cats. They're showing why they might be the favorites in the A-10. Tremendous start to the second half. Lee with a game-high 18 points, followed by Brykovich with 16. Now here's Kelly. UMass will hope to cut this into single digits into the under 16. Fernandez on the left side, he gets double team. Now he drives to the baseline. Being watched by Brykovich, spots up for a long two and is able to put it through to quiet the crowd for now. Fernandes with 13 points to lead UMass. Back to a 10 point game. Bochi Edom and an offensive foul. Now UMass will hope that offensive foul will maybe give them a little momentum as we head to this under 16 timeout. It's been all day thanks to that strong shooting by the hometown Cats. It's Davidson that enjoys a 10-point advantage. But after that turnover, an offensive foul by Hun Jun Lee, his second. UMass with the basketball, the chance to cut into single digits. It's Weeks to Fernandes. Lawyer on him. Screen from Jones. Now it's TJ Weeks driving towards the basket. Lefty finish, no. And Brykovic the rebound. Weeks has done all of his damage from beyond the arc. Now here's Lawyer going coast to coast. And couldn't quite get enough of it. Able to save it for Michael Jones. Jones almost lost as Fernandes tried to strip him. Now Watson on the left side with 12 to shoot. Bochi Edom. At the top for Lawyer. Fernandez on him. Lawyer fakes a three and draws a foul. And Coach McCall none too happy with that whistle. Lawyer reached in, is able to draw the foul call on Noah Fernandes. Fernandes with his second foul. It's also the second on UMass. So, it's Lawyer to the line where he's an 89% foul shooter. He'll get three shots, makes the first. UMass made all three of their foul shots earlier after TJ Weeks was fouled by Desmond Watson. 
puts it up and through. And now Javon Garcia will re-enter the game. He picked up two fouls in just over four minutes during that first half. T.J. Weeks will take a seat. Been very quiet since he had those 12 points early in the first half. His lawyer makes all three of his foul shots. And he'll take a seat on the bench. Lawyer now at six points. Also has six assists. So he has made his mark, even though he hasn't really put the ball through the hoop, but he has distributed quite well. It's been the theme for him this season. The reigning 8-10 player of the week. Huffman and Watson in the game for the Cats as Rich Kelly tries to drive to the basket. UMass down by 13. Buttrick for three, in and out. Huffman able to tip the rebound to himself. Now Huffman across center court. Watson on the baseline, in the, stuck in the corner. Gives it back to Bochy Edom. Huffman. Over to Michael Jones. Whips it out. Watson, three from the corner, in and out. And the ball bounces its way towards Greg Jones. Leaves it for Rich Kelly. At the top for Greg Jones. He'll fire a three and make the three. Much needed three for Greg Jones and the Minutemen. First basket off the bench for UMass tonight. Cuts the Davidson lead to 10. Now Watson. Foul line for Benega, three to answer by Michael Jones, no. And Garcia with a rebound off of Buttrick. Garcia, the sophomore from Columbus, handles for UMass, over to Rich Kelly, into the corner for Fernandes. He's watched by Michael Jones. Now Buttrick drives baseline, all the way to the basket, couldn't force it in. UMass was hoping for a foul, they didn't get it. There's three fouls called on the Cats tonight, much to the chagrin of the UMass bench. Now on the right side, Bochi Edom. At the top of the key. Over for Huffman. Huffman in the paint, spins around. Couldn't get the finish as it's too strong off the back rim. And here come the Minutemen down by 10. Less than 13 minutes to play in regulation. Fernandes. Trying to move his way past Huffman. Stops at the foul line, kicks it out for Kelly. Now Kelly driving the basket. And they call a foul on Bochi Edom. Fans thought it was an offensive foul, but Bochi Edom, native of England, did not set his feet. That's his first foul. Second on the Cats. Hunjun Lee back into the game. He's a game's leading scorer with 18 points. Another try for UMass to cut this lead into single digits. Off the inbound, Buttrick, now Fernandes. Foul line extended right, had it partially blocked, he was fading away, rebound to Weeks, kicks it out for Garcia to his right for Fernandes. Fernandes with 10 to shoot. Now to Buttrick, back to Fernandes, backs on top of the Diamond Cat logo at center court. Fernandes, straight on three, makes it. Noah Fernandes, a cold-blooded shot. Team high 16 for him. 10th three of the evening for UMass to keep him in this ball game, down by seven. Now here's Huffman on the left wing. Approaching the 12 minute mark of our second half. Lee at the top, over the foul line for Bochi Edith. Corner three from Huffman, true. Grant Huffman on the board with his first triple. Top five and three point shooting percentage. These are two of nine teams in division one with at least a 40% shooting percentage from deep and over 300 attempts. And they've stuck to that script tonight. Now Chimas with the basketball, and Huffman tips it out of bounds. So it'll be a spot inbound in front of the UMass radio team. And TJ Weeks, still stuck at 12 points, will inbound for the Minutemen. Hanjun Lee trying to distract him, and the inbound finds its way to Garcia. Watched by Michael Jones over to Fernandes. Fernandes a stutter step. Now cuts to his right. Whips a pass over the left wing for a Buttrick three, and he rains it down. Trent Buttrick with his second three. And he is on double double watch. Eight points, nine rebounds for the graduate transfer from Penn State. 
Back to a seven point game. Lee fakes the three on the right side. Now at the top for Brykovic. Over to Lee. Lee, right wing. Three for Meninga. Can't get the answer as it rims out. Fernandes with the rebound. A big possession here for the Minutemen. They can make it a two possession game. Fernandes through traffic. The runner unable to bounce its way through. It was a nice looking play, just couldn't finish. As Fernandes dribbled through traffic and it rimmed out. Iron unkind for the junior. Here's Huffman left wing, and off the ball, a foul on Garcia. That is his third foul. Now Garcia, who has only seen eight minutes of action, has now picked up three fouls for the minute net. Also their third foul of the half. Here's Brykovic at the top for Lee. To his right for Huffman. Now baseline Menenga. He's got the size advantage on Greg Jones. Menenga trying to back into a five to shoot. Leaves it for Jones. Baseline jumper. Too strong. As it was an air ball that's picked up by Fernandes. Over to Weeks. Left wing three on the way. The lefty puts it through. TJ Weeks. Who had 12 points in the first half. Finally breaks through the second half. It's a four point game. Now Lee at the top. Gets double team, kicks it out to an open Huffman on the left side, drives baseline. Huffman fakes the shot, deals it back to Brykovic. Brykovic, now to Lee, midway through the second half. Over to Huffman. Huffman with 10 to shoot, driving all the way to the basket, lay in no. Brykovic the rebound, and he puts it back home. Brykovic using his size to his advantage over the much smaller Javon Garcia. Eight inch height difference between the two, and Brykovic. Now with 18 points to tie with Hunjun Lee for a game high. Still a two possession game with Davidson up by six. Here's Buttrick for three, in and out. And a rebound to Menenga and the Cats. Leaves it for Huffman. Huffman will take it up the floor with Foster Lawyer on the bench for Davidson. Huffman stops on the left side. Over to Brykovic at the top for Menenga. Leaves it for Michael Jones. Right side, Brykovic thought about a three. Bounce pass to Menenga, posting up on the much smaller Greg Jones. And Menenga reverse laying good from the left side. Sam Menenga had a terrific game against the Minutemen last year with 11 points, eight rebounds. Now has eight points, three rebounds tonight. Also has three assists and two steals. New Zealander has been terrific. This team leads by eight. Now baseline drive for Garcia, couldn't get the reverse to go. And here come the Cats with numbers. This is Lee attacking the rim. Rejection by Weeks, but it's taken back, and the whistle is blown underneath. Foul on UMass. No, Fernandes is called for the foul. That's his third foul. So his third foul comes with 8.38 to play. That could spell trouble for UMass. Fernandes has been terrific tonight. He's actually approaching double-double territory with 16 points and eight rebounds. He remains on the floor with those three fouls. It's also the fourth foul on UMass. Now here's Lee at the top. Underneath for Brykovic, all alone, lays it in and he's fouled. Greg Jones providing the contact for his first foul. Now to do better than that if you want to distract Brykovic, he is a terrific finisher down low. First player to reach 20 points. Brykovic will go to the line where he's just 13 of 21 this year. All of a sudden, back to a double-digit lead for the Cats. And it'll remain at 10 after the miss by Brykovic. Emas had cut the deficit down to four points, six straight points since then for the Cats. Here's Rich Kelly at the top, over for Fernandes, using a screen from Greg Jones. Fernandes, all the way to the bucket, couldn't get the finish. Boy, hard luck for Fernandes. Last couple of times at that end for the Minutemen. Just a terrific penetrator, just can't finish at the end. Now here is Lawyer, over to Brykovic, at the top for Lee with 12 to shoot. Now to Jones, Jones to Menenga. Baseline left side, Menenga going in on Jones, and he lays it in. The second half, 
Cats are shooting 13 of 21 from the field. That is 62%. Now it's Sam Manenga on the line to try and complete a three-point play. He cannot. It rattles off the back iron. And off the loose ball, it'll go back to Davidson. Kelly could have tracked down the rebound. See Coach McCall gesticulating on the UMass bench. Bounces and the whistles have not got his team's way, especially in the second half. So it'll be Davidson basketball. Krajkovic. And now it's Michael Jones at the top for Brajkovic. Bochi Ida at the top for Lawyer. Long two on the way. It's short. Fernandes the rebound. Head to Rich Kelly. Kelly hands off to TJ Weeks. That's 15 points. Now it's Fernandes at the top over to Buttrick. Steps back. Doesn't shoot the three. Now Fernandes will try and settle down the tempo as UMass figures out the offense would tend to shoot. Fernandes over to TJ Weeks. Now Budrick at the top, fakes a three. Left wing three for Rich Kelly is true. Well, Rich Kelly now at 14 points. That quiets the crowd for now. It's back to single digits, a nine point lead for the Cats. After that made three by the Minutemen. Now Michael Jones, fake the three over to Rykovich, all the way to the basket. Lawyer leaves it short. Here come the Minutemen the other day, try to stream back to back buckets. Fernandes at the top, left wing for Kelly. Kelly, runner from the foul line, off the back iron, rebound to Michael Jones. That three, by the way, by Kelly, extinguished at 8-0, Davidson run. Here's Lawyer, spots up, left wing, three, drains it through. Can't leave him open there, Foster Lawyer will make you pay. That's a second three of the evening. Nine points for the transfer for Michigan State. Approaching six minutes to play. It's back to a 12-point lead for the Cats. Fernandes at center court. Now to Kelly left wing. He can't answer. And while he's on the floor, Michael Jones able to tip the rebound to Lawyer. Lawyer over to Brykovich. Posting up on a much smaller Rod Fernandes. And a corner three for Lee went through, but it didn't matter because he had his heel out of bounds. Lee trying to say that he tiptoed the sideline, but he's not going to win that argument. So it's UMass basketball. Another chance to cut the Davidson lead into single digits. Here's Kelly over to TJ Weeks, being watched by Lee. Weeks all the way to the basket, throws it up, gets the bucket to fall through, and he's fouled. That might be the role that UMass needs to try and get one last run here in the closing minutes. All TJ Weeks has to do is make the free throw to make it single digits. 17 points for Weeks. Scored 21 points earlier this season against the Harvard Crimson. He's true in his foul shot. But TJ, don't call me Ricky Weeks now has 18 points to lead the UMass Minutemen. TJ with a terrific night. Bochi Edom at the top. Rykovich. Now Lawyer to Bochi Edom. Back to Lawyer with less than 10 to shoot. Over to Brykovich. Being watched by Stedman. Brykovich spins around. Righty hook is good. Rykovich has won that battle in the post all night against Stedman. 22 points to lead the way for the Cats. And Stedman has had a tough time slowing him down. Fernandes for three from the right side. It just leaves it short. The ball goes off of a minute man and out of bounds. Rykovich with 22 points, 10 of 11 from the field. His counterpart, Michael Stedman, has been left off the score sheet. 0 for 5 from the field, three rebounds in 17 minutes. And Stedman on cue will exit the floor. And Greg Jones, junior from the Bronx, New York, will re-enter. Ochi Edom also taking the seat for Davidson. As Meninga re-enters the game. 
starting five for Davidson that's out there. Menenga, Lawyer, Brykovich, Lee, and Michael Jones. Here's Jones at the top. Two is left. Three out of the way for Brykovich. In and out. And Jones able to save it for UMass. Now it's Rich Kelly over to Fernandes. Fernandes. Back to Kelly. Well, this is three. It was blocked by Michael Jones. Cats have numbers. Jones from Lawyer all the way to the basket. Couldn't lay it in. And the UMass Minutemen will take it the other way with TJ Weeks. We'll have a timeout on the next dead ball. UMass really needing some baskets here. Can they get it from Buttrick for three? They can. It's an air ball. It's partially blocked. Buttrick picks it back up. Goes all the way to the rim and gets it through off the glass. Buttrick now at 10 points. He's been held without a rebound in the second half. He's been stuck at nine since halftime. Almost has that double-double now at 10 points and nine boards. Back to a nine-point game. Cats with the ball in the lead. Underneath, Michael Jones is all alone for a moment. Picks it back up as he's picked up by Kelly. Now Jones trying to spin around. Using his size, couldn't get the ball to go through. Buttrick has it tipped away by Meninga, but Jones recovers for the Minutemen. Now UMass can make things interesting with a basket here as we approach three minutes to play. Fernandes. Throwing some nice handles as he deals it backwards to Rich Kelly. Kelly at the top for Buttrick. Fakes the three to his right for Fernandes. Lee on him. Fernandes, three from the right side in and out. And the rebound goes to Davidson. Rykovich leaves it for Lawyer. Maybe a chance for the dagger here from the Cats as they lead by nine with less than 2.40 to play. Lawyer out for Menanga on the baseline. Buttrick on him. Menanga kicks it out for Jones. Back to Menanga. Menanga lefty hook. No. Rebound Brykovich. Picks it up. Lays it back in. Brykovich has been a force down low. 24 points. 11 of 13 from the field. He has been 2 to 10 in favor of Davidson. UMass, to their credit, has not turned the ball over much in the second half. They just have had no answers for Brykovich down low. As for Mandy's, lifts in the corner, Weeks a three, drains it through. TJ Weeks now has 21 points to lead the way for the Minutemen. That ties a season high. Back to an eight point game as full court pressure is applied and broken by the Cats. Here's Lawyer. Fernandes keeps an eye on him. Now to Jones. Cats content with milking as much clock as they can. Here's Lawyer with 10 to shoot underneath for Brykovich, and he gets fouled. Well, it's one way to stop him. Brykovich has been almost automatic down low throughout the night, but Buttrick's called for his second foul. Seventh on UMass, so Davidson's in the bonus, but this is a shooting foul, so Brykovich will shoot a pair. Rykovich with 24 and 10. We also have Buttrick and Fernandes on double-double watch. As Rykovich leaves it short. Buttrick, 10 points, 9 rebounds for the Minutemen. And Fernandes, 16 points, 9 assists for UMass. Rykovich will get one more. He's good on that foul shot. So now a career high of 25 for the Austrian. 21 points for the Minutemen. His career high is 23 against UMass Lowell in the 1920 season. He's on the floor with Fernandes, who's handling along with Jones, Buttrick, and Rich Kelly, and a foul is called. And the foul is on Lee. And that is Lee's third foul, but only the fourth foul on Davidson. Davidson's only been called for six fouls tonight. Two in the first half, four here in the second half. While the Minutemen have been called for 15 personals, including seven in the second half. Weeks will inbound all the way to Greg Jones. Minutemen have to work quickly here down by nine. Fernandes all the way. The basket gets it to fall through, and he's fouled. Hint of life for the visiting Minutemen. That's Fernandes now has 18 points. He'll go to the line to shoot one more after the fourth foul on Lee. And that could potentially play a factor if UMass can draw even closer. And Davidson doesn't have many fouls, but when four of the six go to perhaps your best player, with respect to Luka Barajkovic, that could be a factor. 
And now here's Fernandes to the line to try and complete the three-point play into the cardboard cutouts of the student section. It was occupied by the general public tonight. Again, no students on campus for now at Davidson. Foul shot was good. It's now a six-point game. Cats break the press and have numbers. Lawyer will pull up. Gets double team. And UMass has a couple of fouls to give. It would be a one-on-one -on -one situation should they decide to foul. Probably wanted to get it into the hands of Brykovich, who's not the best foul shooter. And Engel would have been a good one to foul, too. Here's Lawyer will spot up to the left side. Good. Lawyer from the left of the foul line makes it an eight-point game. As Fernandes quickly goes into the front court. Over to Buttrick. Right wing three on the way. Off the back iron. Brykovich taps the rebound to himself. Into the final minute of play. Lawyer will quickly run it up the floor for the Cats. Breaks the pressure. And Brykovich is fouled. That is a smart foul by Budrick. It's a foul, Luka Brykovich. He was about a 66, 65% foul shooter. And it's one for three from the line this evening. Eight point lead for the Cats. And a one and one coming up for Brykovich. Misses the front end, weeks the rebound. Now Rich Kelly. Down the right sideline of the front court. Hands it off to Fernandes. He's had the hot hand. Right wing three, partially blocked. He thought he was fouled. Rebound to Buttrick, rejected by Brykovich, and he picks up the loose ball for Lee. And Rich Kelly with a quick foul. Now the Cats maybe can put this one away if Michael Jones can hit the front end and the back end of these free throws. As the fans start to rise to their feet inside Belk Arena. Here's Michael Jones to shoot one and one. He is a 91% foul shooter, so not the person you wanted to foul here. Front end of a one and one coming up. And he drains it. The next one will be important. That would make it a 10 point game and effectively put this one away for the Cats. Jones sights the basket and scores the basket. 10 points. The lead now for Davidson. As Michael Jones has seven for the Cats. That, by the way, was the third foul on Buttrick. Here's Fernandes. Fires a left wing three, wide right. Lee the rebound. And it looks like UMass might call off the dogs here. As Lee will take it across the center court line. Fans rise to their feet inside Belk Arena. Team off to their best start since Terry Holland had his first season as head coach in the 69-70 season. That team started 14-2. This team will be 13-2. Winners of 12 straight as coach